Indian state Sikkim and the northern part of the state West Bengal are two most popular tourist attractions of the country. Here you can get a glimpse of snow-covered Himalayan mountains, lush green valleys, some spectacular waterfalls. In this tour plan, we will first go to Gangtok, the capital city of Sikkim. Situated at an average elevation of 5,500 feet, this is a well-planned modern town where you will get every modern facility. Next, we will go to Peling. Peling is a small town in West Sikkim district in Indian state Sikkim. Located at an altitude of 7,200 feet above the sea level, the town is 117 km away from the capital city Gangtok. Next, we will visit Kalingpong. The town is on a ridge connecting two hills, Durpin and Delo. This West Bengal hill station is famous for its scenic beauty. On day one, go to Gangtok. For that, first reach New Jalpaiguri railway station of West Bengal by train. There are several trains available from all major Indian cities to NGP. By year, reach Bagdogra airport first. From NGP, the distance of Gangtok is 125 km and from Bagdogra, the distance is 124 km. It will take around 3 to 4 hours to reach Gangtok from Bagdogra or NGP by car. The rate of a car is between Rs. 2,500 and 4,000 depending on the season and number of seats available. You can also avail a shared cab run by Sikkim National Transport. The fare is between Rs. 200 to 300 per person. There are also SNT organized bus services available to reach Gangtok from NGP. The rate is Rs. 100 per person. Upon reaching Gangtok, walk around the famous MG Mark. Here you may shop to your heart's content. Day 2 On day 2 of your Gangtok tour, go for city sightseeing. You can hire a local cab for 10 points sightseeing. The charge will be Rs. 3000 to 3500 for a day. The main places to visit are Rumtek Monastery. Rumtek Monastery is a gompa located near Gangtok. Currently, it is the largest monastery in Sikkim. It is home to a community of monks and here they perform the rituals and practices of Karma Kagyu lineage. MG Mark The heart of the city is MG Mark. It is the main street of Gangtok and is a great place to hang around. The street is India's first litter and spit free zone. No vehicle is allowed in this street. You can also enjoy shopping while walking through this road. Every year in the month of December, Gangtok Food and Culture Festival is held here. Banjagri Falls It is one of the most beautiful places in Gangtok. The park surrounding the falls area is well maintained. Overall, a nice place to relax. Seven Sister Waterfalls It is another beautiful waterfalls near Gangtok where you can enjoy nature. Gangtok Ropeway Take a ride of Gangtok Ropeway to get a bird's eye view of the city. Ganesh Talk It's a temple of Lord Ganesha located 6 km from Gangtok town. Visit here to pay homage to Lord Ganesha and also to enjoy the enchanting views of the surroundings from the viewing lounge with glass panel. Tashi Viewpoint it is located 8 km away from Gangtok town and offers a stunning view of Mount Kanchanjunga and other snow peaks on a clear day. Hanuman Talk The famous Hanuman temple is popular for its wonderful serene ambience and a viewing area that offers spectacular view of the Kanchanjunga range. Nimgal Institute of Tibetan Technology It is one of the main Tibetan institutes of the world. You can see various rare Tibetan and Sanskrit manuscripts here. The place is also known for beautiful Thangka paintings. Enche Monastery This is another famous site to visit near Gangtok. Day 3 On day 3 of your Gangtok trip, go for Nathula Pass, Songmo Lake and Baba Harbhajan Singh Memorial Temple tour. 
For these two, you have to submit two passport size photographs and a photocopy of your voter ID card to the authority in order to get a permit. You can submit those documents to your hotel or travel agent and they will get the permit for you. Songmo is a beautiful glacial lake 38 km away from Gangtok, located at an altitude of 12,400 feet. Nathula Pass is situated at the Indo-China border. It is 18 km away from Songmo Lake. Visit Baba Harvajan Singh Memorial Temple on your way back to Gangtok. Day 4 On day 4 morning, go to Peling from Gangtok. Peling is 117 km away from Gangtok. It will take almost 4 and half hours to reach Peling from Gangtok. A local car will charge around Rs 4000 for this trip. Day 5 On day 5 of your trip, go for Peling sightseeing. Car rate for this trip is around Rs 3000 for the day. The places of interest are Pemyangsi Monastery. Pemyangsi Monastery is an important Buddhist shrine in Peling. It is one of the oldest monasteries in Sikkim, founded in the year 1705. It is one of the most famous shrines in West Sikkim and a must visit. The architecture of the monastery needs a special mention. Sangacholen Monastery. One of the most important attractions in Sikkim. Sangacholen Monastery is the second oldest monastery in Sikkim and a crucial Buddhist shrine in the region. It is constructed in 1697. Karchanjanga Fall. This stunning waterfall is a must visit in Peli. Rabdanse Ruin. Rabdanse was the second capital of Sikkim from 1670 to 1814 and played an important part in the history. The Rabdanse ruins are a reflection of that history. Singshore Bridge 5 km away from Peling, Singshore Bridge is the second longest suspension bridge in Asia. No vehicles are allowed on the bridge which makes it specially wonderful. You can experience the gorgeous sights all around. Khechipiri Lake It is a natural lake near Peli and is one of the most visit attractions in Peli. Day 6 On day 6, early in the morning, go to Kalingpong from Peli. Kalingpong is 91.5 km away from Peli and it will take around 3 and half hours to reach Kalingpong from Peli. Upon reaching Kalingpong, go for local sightseeing too. The main places to visit are Morgan House. The Morgan House is a British colonial bungalow built by an Englishman Mr. George Morgan in 1930s in the Indian town Kalingpong. The mansion is now a hotel managed by West Bengal Tourism Development Corporation. The property is built on a 16-acre estate on top of the hill of Dhupindara. The building is surrounded by a well-maintained garden. There are also beautiful lawns both in front and at the back of the building with proper seating arrangements. There are some cottages within the premises. The cottages are available for night stay. On a clear day, you can see the majestic Mount Kanchanjanga from this mansion. During the season, you may observe many beautiful rare flowers and orchids here. Army Golf Course The famous Army Golf Course of Kalingpong is overlooking Morgan House. Early in the morning, you can visit this beautiful place. The golf course is very well maintained and famous for its panoramic view of the surrounding mountains. Also, you may have your morning tea in the adjacent cafeteria. 
Durpin Monastery. Durpin Monastery or Zangdok Palri Monastery is situated on top of Durpin Hill of the Indian town Kalimpong. The monastery was blessed by the visiting Dalai Lama in the year 1976. It houses many rare Buddhist books and manuscripts that were brought into India after the Tibetan invasion. The building of the monastery is very beautiful. After stepping into the monastery, the first thing you will notice is a row of prayer wheels along the outside wall. A stairway from the side leads to the second floor. On the right side of the main monastery building, you can observe some Buddhist shrines. From the back of the monastery, you can get a stunning view of the Kalimpong town and the surrounding hills. On a clear day, Mount Kanchanjunga is clearly visible from this place. Kalimpong Kali Mandir Kalimpong Kali Mandir or Kali Temple is a beautiful temple on top of the hill. The temple is dedicated to Goddess Kali. This sacred place is famous for its calm and quiet environment and beautiful surroundings. Orchid Nursery Located on top of a hill, this nursery is famous for its quiet environment and of course, scenic beauty. The place is dotted with many familiar and rare orchids and flowers. There are some cottages inside this nursery where you can put up for the night. In front of the cottages, there is a well-groomed lawn with proper seating arrangements, where you can spend some quality time in the lap of nature. In a nutshell, this is an ideal place for nature lovers. Mangaldham Mangaldham is a magnificent temple located in the Indian hill station Kalimpong. The temple is built in the memory of Sri Mangaldas Ji Maharaj, a spiritual leader who constructed schools, orphanages and temples in this area. Built on an area of two acres, the temple is one of the major beautiful temples of India. The Samadhi of Guru Sri Mangaldas Ji Maharaj lies on the ground floor and on the top floor there is a prayer hall. You can see a beautiful idol of Lord Krishna there. On both sides of the prayer hall, there are many colorful models which tell the story from Lord Krishna's life. The surrounding of the temple is also quite fascinating. Day 7 On day 7 morning, go to Deolo Hill. Deolo Hill is famous for its scenic beauty. The hill is surrounded by a well-maintained garden. There are nice and clean stone paths laid through the garden. You can experience the calm and quiet nature while walking by these paths. At the base of the hill, car parking place is available. Here you may observe small crowds during summer and winter, as this is one of the most popular picnic spots near Kalimpong town. On top of Delo Hill, there is a tourist lodge available for night stay. The layout of the tourist lodge is very beautiful and you can get a 360 degree view of the surrounded hills from this lodge. A 4 to 5 minutes walk is required to reach the tourist lodge from the base of the hill. There is a picturesque park adjacent to the tourist lodge which is dotted with many colorful flowers. There are swings, sliders and horse riding facilities for kids. There are also some souvenir stalls which sell local products. You may indulge in some shopping here. Also, you can take photos wearing local clothes. On a clear day, you can have a glimpse of snow-capped Himalayan mountain range from this place. From there, go to Kalimpong Science Centre. It is established in the year 2008. The Science Centre is situated on top of Delo Hill and it is about 9 km to the north of Kalimpong town. Next, visit Lord Buddha Statue and Park. This is a picturesque garden and park located on Delo Hill of Kalimpong town. In the center of the park, there is a beautiful tall statue of Lord Buddha. The place is famous for its panoramic view of the surrounding mountain ranges and valleys. Besides Lord Buddha statue and park, there is Hanuman Temple. Kalimpang Hanuman Temple is located on top of a hill. There is a well-maintained garden surrounding the temple. This garden is dotted with many rare flowers and has proper seating facility. A walk around this garden is quite refreshing. Also, on a clear day, you will have a glimpse of majestic Mount Kanchanjunga from this place. Next, visit adjacent Goddess Durga Temple. 
goddess Durga temple of Kalingpong is overlooking the Hanuman temple and this is also another interesting place to visit while you are in Kalingpong. Day 8 On day 8, head back to NGP for departure. Where to stay? There are many hotels available in all places of Sikkim and Kalingpong. All of these properties have online booking facilities. We will share the respective links in the description box. A good quality mid-level hotel will charge around Rs. 2000 per day.